This exhibition is the very first to look at Van Gogh's self-portraits across his entire career. It brings together 16 amazing self-portraits, which is about half of his production. I'm Karen Serre. I'm the curator of paintings at the Courtauld Gallery, and I'm here in the exhibition Van Gogh Self-Portraits. Few artists represented themselves as often as Vincent Van Gogh. He painted himself 35 times in a very short period, the last four years of his life. And the exhibition brings together that range to look at how he used self-portraiture and how he evolved as an artist. The impetus for the exhibition was the Courtauld's own self-portrait with bandaged ear, one of the most iconic and beloved works in our collection. But we're so used to seeing it as an individual work that we thought it was important to look at it amongst its peers and bring together other works by the artist. Let's look at three works in particular, really across that range, that tell us more about Vincent van Gogh's self-portraits. This first work was created in Paris, and you can really see Van Gogh's interest in a movement that was very trendy at the time, pointillism. And it involved using dots of pure color placed side by side instead of being blended on the palette. And these colors were often opposites on the color wheel. So here in the background, you can see how he's contrasted blues and greens with orange, and then in his jacket, red and green. And of course, Van Gogh himself had the perfect features for such a contrast with his piercing green eyes and his flamboyant red beard. Here in self-portrait with gray felt hat, the dots have become longer. They're now full brushstrokes, but the bold colors are still there. He's used the green to really show the shadows falling on his features. The brushstrokes seem to radiate out of the center of his face. And indeed, it looks like you're looking at him through shattered glass. His friends actually called this Van Gogh's fiery face. And in this work, one of the very last that he made, you can really see how he's finally found his distinctive artistic voice. It's the Van Gogh that we, we know from the end of his journey in many ways, these wonderful thick brushstrokes of pure color. He painted this work um, just as he was recovering from a mental health crisis in the asylum where he had voluntarily admitted himself in the south of France. And indeed, he really believed that painting was what was going to help him recover. And this work presents him as a very determined and yet still vulnerable artist. He has his palette and brushes at the bottom of the composition, and he's wearing a painter's smock. This is really one of the most moving works for me, but it's also such a bold piece of painting. You can't help but admire it. I had seen these works one by one in their respective collections, but bringing them all together in one space at the Courtauld Gallery really allows one to see the connections between them, but also the differences, and to really deepen our understanding of Van Gogh. I hope that you'll be as excited as I am to see these works and to really get to know Van Gogh, the painter and the man.